NIR Media, the future of entertainment. Yes, yes. Studio Sessions, Season 3, Episode 3, featuring Fiki Nana, the opposite. Put my mirror. Mm-hmm. This is one of my spoiler. What's up? Yeah, I'm super man. I get your food. I'm food. I'm food. I'm food. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's too hard. Yo, it's too uh. hard. Ah, that's a big one. You're talking about D. But I reach out to for those who don't know, can you just uh, briefly introduce yourself? Okay, um, my name is but like you well, it's like I don't know, but the opposite. An artist from Bloom. Um, yeah, I'm an artist, producer, radio, um, content producer, radio, presenter. Yeah, um, I'm a father to Dumitolum. Yeah, I'm just that crazy guy that lives next door to everyone that's saying that. Yeah. Mm. That's Ginana. Yeah. Basically, oh. what else? Yeah. Ah, there's so much, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm that crazy guy. We're gonna so, Yeah. 
then uh then name the begin na go yeah what's the meaning behind it eh hey, dog uh fikir nana yo na came like in high school bro mm. i was in high school and then i just dropped out of school I'm like in Joburg and then moved to Blum and then okay. I kicked us here like I had started at our one. So now um, moving to Blum, being that that colored guy of ones is so true oh, okay. and, and and all that. So now with your high school, you had to have like have like a cool name and stuff. Or mm. So my same name came out of here. So uh, me being stupid, I never liked attending maths class. Or mm. So yeah, in the maths class, I. Be busy with my own shit now, and and then I somehow figured shit, um, cause everyone called me Fike Kobolo, mm. and then I decided now, nah, man, um, get to divide the M into two gives me two ends, yeah, uh, yeah, and then you divide it here, yeah, you have to um, square root guy he, and then give me two A's like opposite opposites attract, and then. What you started with, you end with. I was like, oh shit, this is this can actually be a cool name. Like yeah, Fikenana, Fikenana, yeah, and that's how Fikenana came about. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, oh, and this other oh, shit, yeah, yeah uh, other shit. When I'm with a Nana like the whole time, oh, okay. yeah, so now it made perfect sense. The opposite, yeah. um, came about when I realized that a whole lot of people m- misconceptually like m- misconceptualize the person I am dog mm. when I'm that don't give a fuck about whoever thinks of what about me dog but when mm. I do me so now even come uh, true I've always been the black sheep bro so I'd always do the opposite of what's expected of me yeah. and so um as I grew up and started making music that makes sense i i i i try to find an alias a little more that's i'm and learn what i'm trying to accomplish and then the opposite came about bro well because well, i've been doing the opposite of what's expected from yeah. from like a long time was like oh, why not let me be the opposite bro mm. and they go left i go right when you say said i stand up and dance bro oh, well yeah that's basically it So uh <coughs> What did you What did you music? Can we start? Um where or when? Yeah, when? Shit. A long time ago. Mm. I, I, my sister used to be a rapper like way back mm. and a basketball player when I was still a kid. So she used to listen to a whole lot of pasta bands and Eminem and you know when it didn't tell that cuz it is yeah yeah so during the week she be there I, i don't have my own i didn't have my own music i was a kid yeah i found myself rapping to all her music like yeah. Eminem's was damn like a long time ago pasta bands like Dr Dre Wu-Tang Clan <laughs> well, well, yeah and that's how the love came about it's a long time bro And then until I I finally saw myself now um can now I know when they speak boxing and if I was like ah let me try this out and I started rapping Nikolit the Untouchable at MC like in primary I remember I was the uh, Untouchable in MC <laughs> cuz I pull up I pull up no no what I pull up that one safe in that gate. I want like niggas and coconut to buy that. So I was from the hood. I've always been from the hood. Yeah, and then I rap there, bro, in English. And then can we get better about vernacular? That's like ah, I'm the I'm terrible MC. Yeah, but I started with the cyphers and just rapping for the fun of it. A long time ago, in primary. It's a long time ago. Yeah. So when was this? Yo, primary for me was a long time ago, bro. Finished school in 2013, I think. Oh, okay. Um, 2000 and... Ah, dog. 2000 and... Bro, 2005. Five, yeah. there. Oh, okay. Five, 2005, 2004, there. Mm. That's where the love for music started, bro. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So when... When did you realize that... Uh, you have to... You have to make this a living. It's not just a hobby now. Hey, dog. 
Um, like uh, back in Joburg, mm. everything was so it, it was fun because mm. there was actually a movement of of rich kids that literally hosted like events randomly in jail or one, yeah. and I'd get bookings in the high school or one. <laughs> Uh, and it became a norm and when I dropped out got I get and then that's when I was like ah shit ah now the, the, the struggle begins and I was like ah cool I right, cool um during high school got signed got screwed hmm. got signed again got screwed again God bless that nigga wherever the fuck he is yeah but when and then when I finished school I, I already knew what I wanted to do and mm. what I wanted to do is not go to school again because <laughs> I've been going to school for a long time bro understand mm. I feel great 10 like three times not because I was stupid mm. but because of doing the opposite mm. of what yeah doing the opposite all the time like, I'm getting fights I have a gangsterism background bro <laughs> oh, and like hey, nani ki ki tele, tini, ki manise, ben, so. mm. yeah um, ended up getting kicked out of this school, kicked out of that school, until I realized, ah, oh, fuck, man. Took a pole in, played it. Came to a stop. Cafe says gay, and uh, my mom was like, oh, why am I so feel it? <laughs> like, ah, my son, those people hated me, man. Or when I finished school. And after that, I was like, ah, oh, hey, I get why I'm gay. Mm. I'm not going to school. This is what I'm good at, and this is gonna put food on the table, and so far, dog. Um, I've only worked once go go spa. Mm. But I worked nine months. I ain't December dog. I couldn't take it anymore because now I <laughs> understand. Um in it like bookings were coming Yo. and uh he December dog yeah. or one yeah, he December city internet like me in acid um and the homies book twice like five beats. We used to trap off your go apartment in Yakada for days and go get on his stomach and was funny. So we got exhausted until I one day we realized now, nah, man. I said, I'd say you're done. I would yeah. put in my resignation letter and then after that I was like, cool. And then it has been music uh, until that today, dog. Mm. And that was like, what, four years ago? Mm. Four years ago, uh, when I tried getting a job for the first time in Pilumbak. Yeah. Hmm. If someone knows yeah. of me working somewhere else besides that, um, they can come holler at me about that. I don't know anyway, how true is that? Or I haven't worked, bro. Yeah. Hmm. Nah. Okay. Yeah. So, which project, which project did you draw first? My first project, it was in school, dog. Hmm. I was still in high school. I saw a reflection of my inner self. Yeah. Mm. I remember. <laughs> oh my God. Nzikito, what at the cover of the project, it yeah. like me facing me. No one. Free to give a blind degree to die. That project was embarrassing, but it was actually nice. It was nice. It was a nice project. Um, yeah. Because I was talking about me. Mm. Yeah. It was fun because I was making music for me, not giving a fuck about who's gonna listen, who's gonna. I I, I didn't give a fuck about fan base when I started mm. music. I was doing it because I wanted to do music. Mm. Yeah, and then came this whole shit. Now that you have to worry about what you say, what you <laughs> rap about, and mm. and now music is just a fucking shit. A lot of trash. <laughs> people fucking saying shit we don't even know what the fuck they say <laughs> yeah so when did you release uh <coughs> when did you release the validation ep validation i dropped it uh, i think i think i think nah not last year mm. last year i dropped one well, like, it's a year before mm. last Yeah. yeah, validation. Mm. Yeah, it was year before last. Mm. That's when I thought validation. Yeah, that's also a project that's very close to my heart because mm. people kept like you know, friends and and family and situation 
you have to validate yourself mm. to so many things, yeah. so many people, explain yourself to so many people all the time. I got tired by explaining myself mm. and seeking validation in the wrong crowd, you know? Mm. Just like, nah, fuck it, let me drop this project and then hear what I realize I ain't got on anything. I just dropped it for the fuck of it. Mm. It was on my girlfriend's, my baby mama's birthday. Mm. Yeah, I remember. Because since since then, I've dropped um, validation and what I mean. And then there's this one with a pink cover. Reject. And then I mean, okay. the, 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 the album I dropped, okay. it has a pink cover, man. Keep the validation in there. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I fuck up my own music. Fucking birds is this shit. Yeah. yeah, but it has a pink cover. Yeah. So every every year on mm. my birthday, I drop a project oh. for free for my girlfriend. Like that's a surprise. Oh, present. okay. You know what? And it, that's actually dumb because reason why I dropped that project on her mm. birthday, I didn't have money that year, bro. <laughs> Take her out and spoiler, mm. bro. And nigga, that was funny stuff. Nigga, that was the magic. So we were drunk and shit. That whole process, it's like okay, I could. Hey, bro, hey, I'm not gonna lie to Let me drop something even more priceless. Mm-hmm. You know, let me drop a project. And then after that, I can to get drop the validation, the, the one with the pink cover. I forgot that shit, man. But I will pull. And then last year, I dropped one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the one, yeah, my daughter. Yeah. So this year, <laughs> and I got the money now, so I can only live out because I don't actually drop a project. Because just take on vacation or some shit like that, yeah. Mm. So, uh, before uh, vacation, did you drop anything else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, I think, shit. Yeah, I dropped something and I dropped a single. Um, Kuze Kuze featuring oh. Bridget the vocalist, mm. but now, um, because of certain um logistics within the record company, mm. um, we had to remove it. So oh, now okay. the only lucky few lucky people that have it, um, are the people that downloaded that song in, in that week before I removed it. Mm. Check, yeah, drop that project, but I'm still gonna drop it alongside but the Purge, um, the Ultra Instinct um, album, uh, it's done, it's there. Mm. Um, produced by Acid, all of it, like the beats, mastering, mixing, everything. Mm. Oh, well, yeah, but I just don't know when I'm gonna drop it. Mm. Yeah. The pink cover. <laughs> I think it's called. Uh... Rejected sound. Rejected Jesus Christ. Oh. Rejected sounds, bro. And the songs on that. The songs on rejected <laughs> sounds. They crazy, bro. Hey, they crazy. And funny enough, um, rejected sounds of validation. What I mean. Yep. Production, I think, you to get now fail at all. Okay. Production, I think, all fail again. Like, <laughs> like all of it. No what? And that's when like I, I got tired. I wanted to learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> because I was working with a whole lot of artists. Mm-hmm. Kata, kata. Um had my own equipment, they come record. But not funny enough is I never saw reason to be doing my own production because mm-hmm. I was I've always been surrounded by oh. greatness, bro. Mm-hmm. Come on. Like oh, wow, wow, thank you for yes, yes, <laughs> for one. No one and I grew up around Nishi and Ile and Akaiwa one so it was all that bro. But then when as it came through everything mm. just shed light because now he taught me a lot. He taught mm. me he taught me most of the things. So you know what can it say when it comes to production and, and a lot of shit. Mm. No one he literally mentored me. No one. So now I can literally look a few artists and a few, a few producers more blown by the Russia. But when it comes to when it comes to this, I talk about it. Yeah, yeah. On that uh, project sound, mm. the project starts with the uh, with gospel hymn. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. a nice one, no? Oh, 
I, I was drunk, bro, <laughs> and going through some stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I was drunk and going through some stuff. Ah, damn, it's so embarrassing. But but I'm actually proud that uh, on that on that I started on on that gospel because mm. my, my dad was a pastor before mm. he passed away. Yeah, but he can go jump. My mom is also a pastor. Mm. My brother, so I've always had church in me, even though. Nikita la tos and I can't think of one. No one. Yeah. But I'm still I'm still gonna make a whole lot of gospel music. You're gonna you, you, you I, I talk about God a lot in my mm. music. It's just not Jesus. I don't like that man. Yeah. On that uh, particular song, there's a song called uh, Nangi Mbele. Oh, Nangi Mbele. Yeah. I think that beat inspired by uh, Mandos. Yeah. 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 It's Mandos inspired that. Mm. You know, and funny enough, um, I asked Acid to, mm. to, to, to sample that beat. Hey, <laughs> man. I, I was going to the shop in my I was in my hood yeah. going to the shop and then that ding 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 oh yeah. so I I was talking to Acid at that at that time I was like hey dog you wanna can you please sample um fifty fifty for me dog yeah it's like fifty fifty white dog it's like hit a kid so we can do as interior I'm all right and Acid said okay I cool I'll sample it for you and two three hours later and they get put to go nada comes a WhatsApp message like it that there's the beat. Oh shit! Please, <laughs> like ding, 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 ding. Ah, dog. The whole I, yeah, he made the whole beat, dog. Less than two, three hours after, after the movie mm. film. Yeah, it took him literally. I think it took him an hour and a half or some shit. Can't believe he went to die when he remembered and sent it to me. No. Oh, oh what? Mm. Yeah, and then it took me shit. I think three, four, five years. To finish the song, didn't even write for that song. Yes, I didn't even write for that song. I I I, I only know certain parts of yeah. that song. Bro. Oh well, shit. I'm trying to remember. Um, the, I'm trying to remember the chorus, bro. Yeah. Oh shit. I got a two skating girls. I get a tt. What they got for that? Let me go more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dog. Was something that happened and to talk about go 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 shop on that this other guy and I'm going to skate with that how to ask for I'm going to now and I'm going to get that this in the end and that or Paul at all get shy or shy and then that came back and then I got in I got to the trip recorded that song hey now you're in bed yeah uh can you just tell me more more All the songs from the projector sound tape. So, I am sorry. I'm gonna have to do this, bro. Cause shit, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the <laughs> things of yeah. the song, bro. It's embarrassing. Oh, like too much music. Like, yeah. Too much music, bro. Um. Yo, there's 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 projector sounds the validation, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there's Double Cup. Double Cup. Yeah, yeah. Um, d- Double Cup. It was inspired by. Wabo na me. I just think you who was it. Hmm. No one. So this chick, I was sipping lean, what with Kenny Zoots, and then this chick came to us. I talk about that like a cup. So can we sell that? Uh, no one. And then I came on tell her, I came on the other, and then she wanted to like, uh, she wanted another cup for her honey mm. double like that. Oh, because when I was like, yeah, 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 and the whole song was about that, that that day. Hmm. Oh, when yeah, how it started with the double cups and then going to the club and then she spoiled us fucked up. 
ah, I'm going to realize this woman is actually going to pen. She was just looking for a good time. Oh, okay. But what? Mm. Yeah. Or now, you know, some guys will be like, ah, this chick, yeah, yeah. Or when Kandini wanna move, but then I'm not. That's how that came about, dog. And give thanks to Slash, you know. I um, was inspired by some dumb shit, I don't know. My didn't have to be still Zolo. Kiss at TV. Come on, Habli. That's when I stopped smoking Habli. You know, and then I got the highest fuck, bro. Kill like I'm in studio on Kada, dog. Hey, yo, I got the highest fuck. Yo, I found myself in touch with Gary, dog. Like, but it's. We at the apartment, bro. He could touch with Gary, looking around. Mm. I was high as fuck. The game I take one and inspired me in that song. And then 10 Junior na gave my 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 girlfriend's birthday. That's the name of the song. My one. Yeah, under the influence of alcohol is inspired by my everyday lifestyle. That I'm always drinking something. But once you want to that guy is always drinking something. Mulanza or something. My one. Yeah. And then authentic K2 essay one was inspired by my endorsement. Okay. Well, and that's when um we just got got a um like getting this license thing. My boy. Yeah, and then it became authentic K2 S. Not like these brands that long fun deal, not to tell what we set up when they don't have a deal or a glass key but a fifty run and Mr. Price and I was putting that at the turn that was the two fifty now. K2 S is actually authentic dog. Mm. It's authentic K two S way, bro. It's authentic, mm-hmm. dog. Or oh, what? Well. So that's. Hmm? It, it's a brand from Glow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Minale, this other guy, I'm Katero Pants. Okay. My boy. Yeah. That's how that came. My little Mochana is inspired by Naluwa one. My little, my little nigga. I perform with that little nigga a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, was inspired by him. He came, actually came with the with, with a hook. Mm. Funny enough, dog, he came with a chorus, but unfortunately he couldn't be on the song because mm. his vocabulary was still oh, down. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's what nine nine years now. Okay. Or ten. Mm. And at that at that time he was still young in vocabulary I mean ah, no. mm. So he couldn't you know uh, <laughs> like, nah dog to be dog. No what? Yeah, that's basically the I, I was doing I was trying to do me here, dog. I none of yeah. You did this project and he gets it, I was just doing me, bro. I want to I want Hey, I need to listen to myself more, bro. I need to listen to myself more. Yo, what validation did my dad my mom's name? Juiced up. Um, I got in a fight with a homie of mine and I felt like he just juiced me up <laughs> so that I can go, I can go back on him. I actually recorded a song for him. It's not a diss song. I don't want to say a diss track because this track will be allowed to shit. Yeah, on that song, I don't know if it makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. Yeah. And then I love it featuring Baby Mama. Give Baby Mama inspired me in that. Yeah, my company is when I literally fell in stage, in the stage, bro. I was performing. I'm very hyperactive. So I was jumping, turning up there, bro. Can this stage, you are one. Ne, platform that thing. I can say go ahead, say it. But the stage is strong. I don't know if I was jumping too high yeah. or what. And then I ended up coming out of that stage, you know, I want to get up here. So, so those people had to come. Get me out of there, but now, now I was still performing. <laughs> hey, hey, I remember that day, bro. Hey, hey, yeah, nigga, sign up. Was when I rejected a, re- uh, uh, um, uh, a deal from a record label from Jewelry. Okay. I'm just grateful for the person on the mobile film back at that at that point in time because then I'm talking if it's a kid so I'm not going to do that but better now I'm broke with my dignity in my pocket mm. rather than being rich for your awards the mm. high visitor will not be able to do that it's bullshit you know, that's mm. basically those two projects bro mm. uh, 
that uh, seen that uh, rejected the recording. Yeah. <coughs> What was wrong with it? It, 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 it was. It was for me, honestly speaking, dog. It looked legit. Okay. And it looked nice. Mm. But it was too real, bro. <laughs> and it, it was too real. Mm. And too shady the way it came man mm-hmm. well one because now you, you you know when you get a stipend um that's what they call it record label yeah when you get a stipend that's worth your mother's salary yeah 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 four years annual salary are four years dog and then now you have to start thinking hey, if y'all are giving me Salary and me work like four years so mm. I'm not talking about four months, four years. Mm. Annual pay. My well, because now my mom is gonna keep working and I'm proud of that. Mm-hmm. Well, well. So now how go buy a shelter higher job like all fail at all times four. These people wanna give me that and and more. Who do it all in Ganado if I can't provide that in any banana or by yeah, yeah, yeah. now? Well. So my mom set me down. And we talked about it. Le um wifey there and I can club my life and one. And happy my sister's always been has always been like my financial advisor mm. from a very young age because um I got semi rich kill the beginning. I was wasting money and then my sister that's when my sister took uh, took over. Mm. But now all the Alice I think register really music, you know. Yeah. Banking details again, same thing with assisting, you know. Okay, what's it? Got it in here, the back of my head. Happy with that close with me and my sister. Mm. Well, well, so I, my sister told me, I am on a na. In campaigner, I saw chance of a pill. It's a boy, no man. It's a boy. And then I have thought, nah, fuck this shit. I'm like, sorry, kid. Well, well, and then it went poof into the thin air. They signed other people. Mm. They got screwed up. How they all complaining? Yeah. Mm. You know what? Happy the waiting list here. I could label in my hand. I'm a I'm a free spirited person. I thought it was in Turkey. Oh, okay. You know what? Mm. Yeah. That's why, like, even now, the people that are investing in me in all this madness yeah. that you see here. Mm. You know what? Yeah. Um, it's per agreement. Yeah, okay. I wanna let you know what I know. Um, you my boss, you my investor, my girl. I'm sure I'm gonna pay long for kids. I hate that. Oh, okay. I hate that. Mm. I'm. It's not. It's not a nice feeling to me being told what to do, bro. Mm. And team already. My boy. Because I drink a lot. God, <laughs> and now I drink a lot. My boy say I don't like being told what to do. Go. Okay. Which level was it? Hmm. Dog. Hey, you wanna get me soon, bro? <laughs> okay, you know what? Ah, no, pun intended. Me between the lines, bro. Yeah. Pun intended, man. Me between the lines. I can't be mentioning people, bro. <laughs> okay. Can you just say the, uh, <clears throat> the initials? Nah, dog. I actually don't wanna talk mm. about that. It's not a nice topic. No, okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Mm. Um, hey dog, nah, it's not nice. <laughs> no one, cause so many great things has actually happened with people oh. back. No one, like yeah. Um, as it got me out of a relationship, uh, and it was toxic. Mm. And then my homie got me out of that. Like you know, so I got out of it. Yeah. Twelve long one, I was living with a chick at that time. And twelve long one, at first I thought nah, as it. Was being a dick, mm. and then I get that out. So I got looking, you know, situation when you're looking, um, when you're looking in from the outside. Now you get to see all the flaws and you like, yeah. Um, yeah. And then from that process, I was hurt, bro. I was hurt. Hey, I was hurt as hell. I was broken. And then as it gave me a beautiful project, bro. Like Fiki, instead of sulking like this, why don't you just make music about it? Mm. And then he gave me seven crazy instrumentals. I made seven crazy songs that 
I don't know. Oh, oh, people only hear the songs when I'm performing. Oh, okay. My one, like, who's a cool, say, Kyo, and I'm a two of them at the way to them. My one, let's have a touch. But they don't know the in betweens. Okay. Uh. Project A, it's fire, I'll say, I don't know. Anything that lady has a touch is turns into cool. Yep. My one. But now, if you see, Kada, he has a plan yet, he has a plan yet. But now, hey, you know, they can't Fuck. I got so many music, bro. I, I don't know what to drop. Can I look at my house? I could drop like an EP every month till, till December, baby. Or, or, and all. Uh, like an EP from now till December, bro. That's how much music I have, bro. I got catalogs for days, bro. And not, not, not shit music. Yeah, it's shit music. It's shit music to the person that's hearing, that's li- that's listening. They wanna hear shit. Yeah, I got I got time to actually make music for me again, mm. and I'm happy about that shit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, now can, you, can you talk about the last project that you dropped? The last project I dropped was what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, and that one I give a little bit I don't even have it, bro. Oh yeah. yeah. I I feel like an asshole, bro. I don't have time to listen to my stuff. Well, when? Cause I feel like I'm better than the last song that I recorded. And if I go listen to the last song I recorded, that literally means I I I'm I'm, I'm gonna wanna do better than that guy. And I'm, mm. that there's growth after every song I record. I wanna say that. Mm. Same as my performance videos, dog. I don't watch those shits. If people take videos of me performing, dog, mm. ah, I, nah, I, I don't watch myself performing, dog, I can't, I can't, I, I, I get, I, I get pissed, mm. what if I, because most of the time when I'm watching myself performing, I feel like I could have done so much better, mm. or one, and can be quite so, might as well just, perform, get it over and mm-hmm. done with, on to the next one, like that. Mm. Well, well, yeah, shit. When was the last time I posted a video of myself performing on social media? Nah, fuck, it was a long time ago, bro. I'll put it on my status, though. <laughs> Baby likes taking videos of me, of us performing and shit. Mm. Yeah, and he's just there on my phone, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> look at this motherfucker taking a video of me. <laughs> Nigga, you need to be in the moment. I don't like it when the people around me are taking videos while I'm performing. That literally, you 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 you're not in the moment, bro. You're not in the moment because now you're looking, you're looking at me, and I'm and I'm your your, your, your brother. I'm your homie through through a phone, dog. Because for you to take a video, you have to concentrate here too. So now you're not in the moment. You are within this moment that's happening here in the phone, or what? Yeah. You you're missing so much that's happening there, dog. No one. like that thing, like it is one hour to get lap, but I get her former ash. You don't know about that shit. Nah. Hey, bro, that shit haunts me every year. Hey, I would you know that? No one. So now I'm not a bomb cavity. Even the person on Killian video, yeah. I remember in a day, I'm talking now who's this motherfucker's name. Blah, what a good man. The, the hip hop DJ do. Imota, he's the one that took that video, bro. No one, because he was he was astonished actually, dog. How 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 crazy I was mm. on stage, dog. Even felt like my shoes were pressing me at the bottom. I could have performed and get caught with a cold food, dog. No one. And then now, I'm going to get my little girl my own one, because the song also said, "Hal, se padi kya se chela ba shemi ana ban seva." And then, <laughs> shit. That happened, yeah. and now they, what they don't understand was this. Me and my DJ, when I do this, he stops the song. Yeah. So now, pina e wa fuck aboy on. Se padi kya se chena pa shenga na bantim. Hakir aji se pin. Kandi wa na waki wahi. So the mic is here and it should be fast. So hakir he kya kimo beta di kuku di joya na watare mo di wo ma shwe bende wo blue eye wa ne yer. But the show goes on. Can you take a moment, Shalaya? 
But she always to go on. I can't stop because give me seven to that face, you know, stage in dog. Yeah, I take a month for Agada, perform the old song at the top of my pinna about fell. I said thank you. And then I take it to a soul day. No one take it to a soul day and then I apologized, yeah. But I wasn't sorry. You know, I was sorry, but I wasn't sorry for well, I was sorry for what happened, bro. Yeah. Not the whole performance, nah dog. I I was having the time of my life. Mm. My performance, yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were, you were, you were part of a rap battle. Yeah, that. Yeah. What's up? Nothing's under. Ah, dog. See, hey, genomic has always had something. I, 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 since I, I, remember, I remember a long time ago, the genomic on a chase. And then come a lot of power, and then come a slant, and then we got over that. And then last year, and the year before that, I went since the other, um, since the other, uh, yeah, is it our one? I'm a feature. So I couldn't, I had too many obligations, bro. And then that turned into hate. Uh, shit, I don't know. And then he started wanting to battle, wanting to battle, wanting to battle. And then can't take him a poke affair. And until that happened, that we him as there, and then we spoke to ask. I went for an artist in an it's how I'm better than I got a bank to sign up at work. Okay, and as it was said, I said it in that battle. As it said, I'm gonna feed you. That lighting is to be told a lesson. Go sort them out real quick. And I was like, I cooled out. Well, because now we, when I'm thinking about that, I'm gonna feed you. 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 I'm I, I don't respect that guy as, as, as an artist, bro. Like, I'm sorry if he's gonna feel offended, Owen, but I just don't respect him as an artist. Mm. Like, say, would dance and all that because, yeah, he can dance. I don't know if I want it in that. Not musically, dog. Mm. Not as a rapper. Not, not as a singer. Not as a, a reggae artist. I, I don't have respect for him. Mm. Well, when, and I got there, I went to the show an hour late because I, I, I couldn't find Castle Light. Well, when, honest now, I get that to a long Castle Light thing, like in the hood. And then, Carlton Zero was so we went in there. We went in the hood, like in Castle Light thing. And then we got late. Mm. Yeah, we got there late, and then Carl Party get out. Everyone kept asking me, like, get out of shit, that the homies been posting about you, like, not coming, mm. uh, you are no show in Galen Cave. And then I answered, I remember directly told them, like, dog, but why the hell would I want to come early? Go badly in genomic, bro. Mm. No one, that's how much I don't respect that guy as a rapper. But as, as a brother, as a homie, mm. and as someone, he has courage for literally challenging the one person everyone knows goes by the name the president of 45 hip hop bro and then he just goes like you know, there's so many people dog you can go challenge dog they do one now well, well, and then he wanted to battle the president of 45 hip hop and that happened yeah but it's debatable though cause some say first round the uh, <laughs> he had some some shit to say, mm. yeah. But the only thing I remember, you know, I believe he and Kelly like from that battle was him saying, um, "Who's looking after uh, my daughter?" Hanna <laughs> Like, uh, did that nigga like we could read it, man? What he said, dog, in a battle, dog. Who's looking after my daughter? I'm not really busy kissing her now. Get get it, get it, get it. So he, literally, he could also hear, like, and see, and feel that I'm wasting my time with him. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. So it went over a whole lot of people's heads, bro. Oh, what? And then the second round, 
after my first round, he started battling the crowd. He had a little phase and uh, mm-hmm. shit, yeah. And then last round, I, 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 I dog. I sent it home, dog. Mm. I, 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 I crib walked. I was crib walking as I was finishing that round, bro. I remember telling him that shit. After that battle, he doesn't even own a mic to go hang. The only thing he has is his grandma's panty that he borrowed to go to the battle because she's the only nigga that he knows that's man enough. <laughs> And then, um, calling me time for the you know, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, but he got, he got courage, though, bro. He got courage. But I repeat, dog, as a brother, I got mad love for that nigga, dog, boy. As a whole, but musically, I don't respect him. And I don't want to lie. I don't respect that guy musically. Yeah. I will like have a chutzpah hide and I sing in them. I will be one song too. Ah, you know, I'm not Papa. Yeah, it's just something he, he wanted to prove a point, I think. Mm. And the point blew up in his face. And I'm not even a battle rapper, dog. Stino saw that battle and, and Kanchi got that man. Kanchi. Nah, I wouldn't have cheap at that one. I think you're not a bad old rapper, dog. Stick to your rap. <laughs> oh, good. It's like, fuck that shit. Hmm. Yeah. Not even intending on defending my title, bro. I'm not gonna do that again, dog. Nah, you know what you want to do? Yeah. Dog. Can you pause a moment? Yeah. Hey, that phone of yours is annoying. Get, please get the fuck out of here, man. Mm-hmm. The man complaining is not making a noise. You're the one who's complaining. Come on. 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 I think my music, music go, go way to, go can to a world, ka uh, substance abuse a world. Yeah. Yeah. What's the story with it? I, I'm, I'm, dog. You, you know, hey, shit, it's a sensitive topic, but fuck it. You know when you when you've been through something, mm. and you you see it repeatedly happening, like in your community, yeah, with your well. friends, mm. and all that and all that. Or when, um, it's just a way of me trying to raise awareness about the dangers of substance abuse and shit. I know not like I can like I but you know how old. No, I just I just love alcohol mm. and all that. But I don't abuse alcohol, bro. You know what? But now drugs drugs are something else, bro. Understand? Hey bro, I lost I hey dog. I, I, I lost my twins not even realizing I am the one that's fucking up causing stress to, to, to the women and shit because I was on drugs. I was just doing me, dog. And those repercussions came and, and took away twins. Well, um, I lost someone that literally cared about me because of drugs, bro. Well, I, I lost friends. I, I lost money, I, I dog. I lost so much because of drugs. Now seeing all this happening, in, in my in my hurt, especially in my hurt, dog. Hey, but that's why I think you guys see more dog like shit. Understand back in the day, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, a whole lot of people, they 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 did literally had the right to about career using substances and all that. Hmm. But I dog, cause my nana who used to be community back yeah. in the day, but 
Right now, hey, these motherfuckers are grown up fucking dead, bro. I'm gonna be like, you're getting the side. Watch out. That motherfucker. Yeah, bro. Fuck you up. But don't worry, it's a dog. What was it? But now, you have a cow out, that dog. Never cow out at all. I'm, I'm just really trying to say that. I even opened open up my house, bro. Because you know there's ladies there that have talent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have my own studio equipment besides here. Yeah. yeah. This is work. Mm. Well, I'm at home. Like weekends, dog. I, the homies know. When if you want to work on a song and shit, I, I literally take my time for recording all that. Come to the studio, make sure the song is of proper quality, mm. meets the requirement standards. So you can set me to radio or one of them. But after a while, it's a cycle, bro. It's a cycle. And the only way for for us to to literally fight against this whole pandemic and the vaccine now, when mm. it starts with one person, bro. When I'm really just trying to say, hey, good and I know where that can take you. Mm. So if all of us, dog, if each one can teach one, then mentally, you fed someone something. Dog. Happen. White people are um, I'm sorry, dog, to be mentioning race. And mm. White people are privileged enough to literally have the know-how to go have another like on drugs and yeah. all that. One as black people, dog, man, I did it like same dog. I, the first thing away is I like a go more don't know dog. You know what? And how don't know how you inflicting pain on one goes back. Uh, when we do not have the facilities, uh, the right facilities that equip um, black communities, God, these things, mm. we do not, we do not. Like oh, nah, like any D entertainment was was fun, for founded amongst, uh, 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 based on those principles, mm. actually. Or when trying to literally um, get these kids uh, mm. out of the streets and have a home for them to say, hey man, if you got the talent, we got the facility. Mm. Well, well, we got the facility. Understand these people don't invest their own money yeah. to build this place, trying to get them off the streets. Dog. Hey, especially when it's happening to people that you know about. Because of shit like that, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I, I somehow blame our government for tapping the rights. Because they need to, uh, like, in that part of the, 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 the shit, how are they going to equip black people with mm. the facilities to sell more at all? The, the, the cover, like keep them away from that shit. Mm. Like Bloomfield thing is fucked up. Let's throw a little bit of time up, time up, time up at a skate park. Mm. For real. Time up at a skate park, bro. They, they have parks and all that and all that and all that. Oh well. She have one more, more like here, here, um Mangaum, mm. for example though. Um the parks in the end where he the, the DNZ like more than 10, 15 years mm. ago. And if you feel that you were feeling that I see that I that you neglect to. Mm. Go to your, your, your go, go to your suburbs. Go to your suburbs. They have parks there, they they, they get maintained mm. by the municipality. Mm. But whatever should I look for a simple fucking resource center they, mm. A resource center resource center. Understand like a like Go oh, I enjoy okay, cas 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 or what? But when I the resource center there, bro. Okay. Go uh, um Lagatum village. Okay. It's in Joe. Okay. There's a resource center in the middle of the hood. Mm. It was of it as it's worse than phase six, bro. Mm. But there's a resource center where you can go for extramural activities. Mm. Or when there's a library in all the fucking hoods, bro. We got the money, we got the resources. But dog, we are led by dumb fucks, I'm sorry. So my dad, why you shy it, 
There's nothing you can literally do. Soccer fields are closed. Ki ki di dump inside in your ass. This much that they can't play soccer anymore. But I say. But okay, but I say nothing. You can you can't do shit. Just go to school, come back, put your books there. And go fucking smoke. That's all you can do, dog. You are a victim of circumstance. Mao fi kelani and that's the question. Mm. Of the kelani. Mao. Hi dog. What na ve? Hi dog. But again, but pula ba ho ma so na ha ve to thanks dog. Until each and every one of these motherfuckers but shy and they go ba. But when say they let abo na ni go no dog. But about the video on a day like that is going to be a poverty cycle, a poverty chain. Mm. That work out of my easy. And then by Siggy, we're not a dog and I was not a lady, all star in Chalo. You know, but I got a full pillar. That's what's going to happen to these niggas, bro. Mm. And the fucked up thing is now, even in government offices, even in schools, even in the workplace, all it all, people are using drugs. Oh my god. How about your relationship with uh, <coughs> Acid? Acid is my brother, dog. Mm. Acid is my go-to guy. Acid is my psycho, my psychologist. Okay. Um, Acid, dog. Much as I'm older than him, dog, mm. but as he, he keeps me rooted. Oh, when like dog, that nigga means a lot to me, bro. And and not even um musically only dog mm. as a brother. Kakawan and the acid, but at the end of the day we okay dog. Mm. Our relationship is based on principles that are like it's a bowl to dog. Yeah. Yeah. Acid is the reason why I'm sitting here today talking to you, bro. I don't wanna mm. lie. That nigga got me off a drugs, bro. Oh, and, and only a few people know about that shit. Only a few people know about that. My oh, word. <laughs> I, w- I was deep in this drug shit, bro. I was deep. I was deep, bro. And, and that nigga, I remember Nadia like to a gig in the first mm. door. Shit, I had a shit lot of drugs on me, like a lot, bro, a lot. Yes. Like when I like a five gram or some shit, dog. Mm. What was? So I was sitting at the back, I was sitting at the front, and they came that car, that I had one. So I had it, that we have a panel in that thing, you get a good car, And this motherfucker, I remember his exact words, bro. This motherfucker said, "Chad is easy, what are you doing, dog?" <laughs> I'm thinking this motherfucker, dog, oh boy. Hey, we on the same team, man. I need this motherfucker, dog. Who does it now? You a guy here, you a guy here. You got like a five gram. Ah, hey, child. So give me more than four. And then now he's sitting, come up here, he's sitting up on my lap. I got to give more than four. So now he's here, he's more full, more more. When he needs to be more full. Okay. He's like, I'm gonna nail you, boy. Then I'm gonna so I get down to the other fist, and I get down. Hmm. Mm. And then spilled everything. Go to eat it somewhere. Chances. How can I come out of that? It's time to check out. We put it on the phone window. Chances. Well, we got there. We all sent him sparkling. We were throwing up. I was sweating. Dog guy. And I remember he locked me in the house. My little bitty thing that telling me to sleep. Mm. Yeah. Got me food, take it, and then got me in there, and then left. Went to the club when we went to the thing. That 
Facilitates this shit, mm. but then yeah, he fucked up and he got kicked out. Mm. Yeah, Junes, you know they are not as fun as he. Oh, and and then he fucked up, got kicked out. I I, I think two three months as fun as I'm not. And then if we got kicked out and then shit, I oh, I was alone. And then ask them to for, to upgrade certain things and shit. Mm. They didn't even ask me twice. Bro, when we were like shit. They started upgrading shit. Mm. Yeah. They turned my dream to reality because I've always wanted this yeah. type of shit. So <laughs> yeah. All, yeah, turned this my dream to reality, and then yeah, they did the, the, yeah. Come on, it's one of the best mainly. He's the one that's hands on when it comes to the studio. Okay. But when it comes to the logistics of everything that happens here, mm. when I'm the supervisor, everything goes past me. Mm. Or when I manage the club, we manage. Oh, okay. Or when MED, we have we also have our artists, but it's one of the best. No, when Ashtrix, Luda, Ben, Poly Rhymes. Um, Chris Far Beats, Chris K cousin wa 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 essay. Okay. Now when he makes them beats and shit. Mm. YBM, um, Young Black Messiah here, my little nigga. Mm. My one. Yeah, Leah and I'm not kids like I when I trauma the hopes live like me little one. That's fun like I my one. Yeah. So now I'm I'm the I'm just the producer here. Mm. 
Yeah. What's your opinion on the music on the music uh music industry in in and then in free state in general? First, there has to be an industry for us to talk about that industry. Mm. You understand? Yeah. I, I can tell you if you get what yeah, yeah. There has to be an industry for you to talk about an industry. Right now, all, all that we have mm. is a whole lot of people that are trying to make ends meet yeah. at other people's expenses. Mm. I, I don't know if you understand yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. say. Oh, well, we, we just have a, a whole lot of people that that are making events mm. with the hopes of making money. Man. Mm. Oh, well, there's mm. no industry, bro. Mm. There's no industry. Oh, well, mere fact that to get your song on the radio here, mm. even here in Bloomington, they also might have bought on the even in Bloom. Mm. Ah, dog. There is, even the nightlife here is, mm. is stupid. People rather go out and go spend all their money mm. on goals and drinking rather than supporting events. Yeah, yeah. All, right. all these places sit alone, dog. The drinking alcohol industry, dog. Mm. Ah, the alcohol industry of Lomfontein, Afro State, dog, is the shit. Well, well. Mm. But when it comes to entertainment, dog, we still have a long way to go. Mm. But now, what what I, I, I you have to pay homage to do artists like um your Steen or your Twenty or mm. uh, Jacob or uh, Jacob yeah. came through there and uh, Andrian came through there and uh, well, when back in the day mm. well, when, and then literally well, when Steen and Twenty just literally dog they they kick doors down bro yeah. well, when, there's your toy yeah was yeah. well, but like dog. Homies are literally now only starting to pave the way for, for, for us to politically and uh, in the street, dog. Mm. As much as far as entertainment industry and Bloomfontein and Free State is involved, bro, there is no industry. We just have a few people that are making host, hosting events with the mm. hopes of making money, dog. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, do you know the. Uh The Central Music Awards. Oh, what the shit is that? Key into award. The award show to Free State. They recently lost. Well, oh, yeah. shit! Damn! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn! I, I, oh, shit, I didn't... I, I didn't know the name. No, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I know of no. awards yeah, that yeah. happened mm. somewhere in Bloom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Hey, dog. Yo. Yeah. I. I shit. <laughs> I don't. What? Uh, dog. I think I need I need more information when it comes to that. Mm. How 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 it came about yeah, yeah. nominated and mm. all that and all that dog shit because uh, now I just saw people yeah. getting invitations yeah yeah shit, yeah shit. Uh, I don't know mm. I wouldn't I, I didn't even know bro, all mm. that shit but when mm. I didn't even know mm. shit I'm an asshole bro I bet I've been so much uh, so caught up in mm. my you work. own shit mm. like trying to get my own shit together that dog I hey, dog. Yo, those are wars. <laughs> uh, but did they happen? No. Uh, let's do. Do we just uh? <coughs> do we just uh? <coughs> announcing nominees. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. yeah. I'm happy for the, all the nominees of the Central African. I don't know that. Central Music Awards. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm happy, yeah, yeah. I'm happy for y'all, mm. bro. Homies putting in work, dog. Mm. My boy, yeah. yeah, I saw my boy Kenny McVito is yeah. also getting an award. Like he's also nominated there, bro. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, at least I can say he deserves it, bro. Mm. What's he really needs, bro? I, Baba Ngatamu. Yeah, I can get into her. I want to into information. Can I have the PG and Kagi free state online channel? I want. Oh, oh, yeah, that th- that that channel too. Oh, <laughs> level are involved in those. Yeah, bro, yeah. Hey, dog, honestly speaking, yeah, yeah, um, I don't understand that panel, yeah, free state online. I, you know what, hey, yes, you know what, yeah, those people are weird, <laughs> those people are weird. I don't understand them. Mm. Honestly speaking, I don't understand them. I, not, not in a bad way. It's just that I don't understand them. How they work. Yeah. How, how they, uh, how they come up with all these weird stuff on their own and dog out of the blue they do tell you that Tweezer is the best. There's an artist who think Tweezer is the best artist of the year. I'm like, who the hell is Tweezer? Though? The whole free state would be asking like, Tweezer came mm. out. Only they know. Mm. I can say, I think that's the problem with what Bloomfontein, free state, mm. or when the people that have the power, yeah, whatever, the buyers entertain our fair, I don't know. But now I can let you tell us the problem, yeah, but I think these people, but Shabali one, they smoke alone, bro. Yep. But how about the other two, but they just decide, ah, I don't know, it's what I didn't talk. I don't know, I don't Yeah, no, the best artist to do. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm gonna get a little conversation the man with the story. I'm the president of Obadi, but I'm supposed to be asking these questions, bro. <laughs> Get yeah. yeah. Those are what the uh, <coughs> Kelly Korean to the hip hop buying to many million uh to many million the uh, <coughs> many million the uh G thirty two award. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, boy, now that's something. Elo mo do awa na ba ba bilen ke elo lo da. But let me tell you where they fucked it up. How can you put? How can you put MT? Um, how can you put Richo Mikwan? How can you put um um? How can you put Young Thug? Kamo kategori niya um kategori that you call a Tupac Award, bro. How the fuck do you get that right? A uh, pun intended. Give me this example mm-hmm. again. I don't want to drop names yeah, yeah. Of, like Bloomfontein or Free State Yo, Parks, okay. bro. My boy, that that category, Twente, we need to dig deep, dog. My boy, all of share, bro. Like people that are that that, will, that, that are literally that rapping, bro. Mm. My boy, you you cannot put the show me pun. Got award in your ring, yeah, yeah, to park, bro. Mm. My boy. Have a low weight award or working out all these other mummy motherfuckers. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's my personal opinion. But what I'm saying is, shop, that I go pan off man square. It's my opinion. Yeah. Nah, dog. Nah, fuck that. Don't you let me talk. If a single coming up, featuring a uh, Kim, Kim. Better, yeah, you know, bridge the vocalist, yeah. But uh, their song we in the building, we release it. So, yeah. <coughs> what's different about it now? The, the only difference about that song is, um, that's a that's a rap, it's a great song. Mm-hmm. I released it, Kili One, and, okay. and it still had that influence mm. in a K bar. Okay. Well, the only diff- the, 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 the the main difference right right now mm. bro, right, is I released that song Kisanahana Kisanahana dog. Mm. I, I didn't think everything through. Right, right. And Kenny also um 
like since 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 interview work at our over and work at our over he has to be on the song okay. or like he can remix at the song remix at the song so now when i thought i think that also thought that it was just it's other that's other whole other instinct album coffee yeah. i thought well, why not um put kenny on the song because mm. he's deserving dog but when he's deserving mm. and me affect the whole and fit him on like he didn't even shy around telling me like it's a great song mm. and he wants to be a part of that song i didn't see a reason why but when um Kids like this are trying to learn Kenya in a year. Oh, and big shout out to um his manager King Paul. Oh, and Lena, he didn't even give me the run around like that. Mm. Oh, well, one, we just we we let the Kenya Kenya do it. Kenya, you remember who's the who's? Yeah, um, dog, you still down to jump in the song? Yeah, it's like I cool, but talk to my manager because like I don't talk to him. Moholo, um, you really care me about the song and he's down and then he's like, nah, do the song, bro. Mm. Do the song. I think it's gonna be that. That song is gonna be crazy this time around, bro. I'm changing almost every. I'm, but the chorus is made that song what it is. Yeah. We need the hooks just like that, and then we're just gonna play him what it is. It's gonna be crazy, dog. But sad we're we're hoodie the Yeah. We're hoodie the musically. So hey, it might be as musical as I want it to be. Mm. Yeah. Take your time, bro. Mm. Take your time, don't worry, I got you. No. When I... When I do... Oh, shit. Ah, yeah, bro. Hey, yeah. Hey, I, 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 I used to be colored, bro. I used to be colored. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean used to be colored? Ah, uh, dog. I used to be colored a long time ago <laughs> until I moved from that. Oh, okay. okay. And as I know, yeah, I've always wanted a reason, yeah, where I should drift away from my father's side of life. Or, mm. Yeah. So ever since. Okay, I, I drifted away from my father's side. I told myself, now nah, I'm not colored dog. Okay. I'd rather be um closer from mm. my mother's side. Mm. But like how much any kind of haki to dog could you make a but nah. Mm. All I know is dog, I'm not opposite dog. I <laughs> but how I I'm on better race, I always like African. Oh, okay. And then until it comes to a point where it's going to go more less so today and then it's like Oh <laughs> well, mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. The reason is because how do you feel about the about the representation of the colored people in the music industry? I don't colored people can't rap. We there's like Three or four guys that can wear. Yeah, them. Wait, which ones, dog? Oh. Are we talking about the music industry, right? Now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, youngster CBT is not colored anymore, dog. The only time you hear that nigga say uh, say anything colored is when he's saying Capstad, Capstad, Nair, and oh, his accent. That's yeah, yeah. the only colored thing he is. He has mm. and he's bringing to the industry. Mm. Um, Jack Perro is not colored. No, 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 no. He's white. Yeah, yeah, he's white. And who else raps in Afrikaans in the main in the? There's a uh, the guy from uh, East London. This guy, uh, Ali B. Ali B. Yeah. Uh, Ali B. He's gone. Ne- never. He never went mainstream per se, bro. Yeah. He never went mainstream per se. He tried. He, he tried, bro. He tried. 
Okay. Again, dog, there is no colored person right now in the music industry, like mainstream, that is rapping in Afrikaans, mm. bro. There is not, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a, very, that's a racial boundary that we're gonna cross after a long time, bro. Mm. After a long time. Mm. You check. Um, oh shit, nah, I know what you're gonna ask me. I'll, I'll, I'll never release an Afrikaans. No, no. I, I will never. <laughs> <laughs> never in my life. I might say yeah. uh, one or two words here and there, yeah. bro, but I'll never know. I'd rather prefer I rather prefer rapping in vernacular or some shit. Mm. Street language. Come on, we have a lot of time. I wanna do video or English. Full stop. Ah, I know that. Fuck that. Yeah, I know. Last year, we should. Which project from uh, Bloom Artist did you like? Hey, there's this song, yeah, 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 yeah OD. Uh, blessings. Yo, yeah. Blessings. Yeah, that's a crazy, that's a mad <laughs> joint, bro. That, that That's a mad joint. <laughs> And then Kenny McVatalian dropped a fire song. Yeah. Oh, no, not the remix, though. Oh, okay. the, the original. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see my dog. It was crazy. And then, what else? Oh, Mr. Lulia and I. Drop the song. Uh, I know it's gonna sound biased. It's a crazy song because I've done the song. <laughs> oh, and, and then Lil Roy and I dropped a project. Yo. He said they're not dropping the talk. Actually, a lot, a couple of people dropped fire songs, bro. A, 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 a couple of people dropped fire songs last year, bro. Just that I was ignorant. Uh, it's the radio show that he hits. Oh, okay. It's uh, uh, work. Don't tell you another thing. And now, oh, look, I got. And I was minding my own business, mm. but dog, yeah, yeah. Was there if I mentioned you? I know we was funny last year, dog. Mm. Uh, if I, yeah, few tag there, yeah, few to say, there, okay. there. Yeah, yeah. I was this other pervy looking guy, the perfect looking guy, <laughs> infinite star. Yeah, he also got no fire song, bro. What did you Yeah, yeah. yeah. no one. Mm. Oh, Cyrus there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there's niggas from the hood, Kada, who women are for, or what you forever. I don't miss what my brother meant. Ah, and then they will push you at last year, no? Mm. Yeah. Speaking about those guys from the uh, Free City Online channel, mm. last year they on you the middle list mm. of the Top 10 first seed artists. Yo, I'm going to beg you. You know, I, yeah, you just yell on a little bit. I used to yell on a Number 10. Yeah. I'm going to list them from 10 to 1. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Dubo Mouti. Kwa Gospel. Dubo Mouti. Yeah, Kwa Gospel. Le Puri, Le Mokoni. Yeah. Then it's Tusi. Huh? Tusi. Hi. Hi. Go on. Number eight comes at the heavy point. Oh yeah, and he's a DJ and a producer. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. Then number seven. Two point one. The host DJs. Uh, I don't know those names, but you don't know. Yeah, I know the song, yeah. but I don't know Gamma. Yeah, no. Don't listen to that shit. Six. Yeah. <coughs> NDT. Next depo um depo kota. And and I get NDK wo. NDT Gamma. How you want it? Hey. So South Africa. NDT Gamma make. NDT. Mm. I have no idea who's NDT, you Because I would have won Bloomfontein. I don't know, bro. Number five. 
King. Yeah. Yeah. And then he deserves that, man. He deserves that. I was I was I was fun. I was fun the king. Sure. Mm. Number four, the Bumulu. Who the fuck is that now? What's that, man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh. Number three. <clears throat> Number three is uh, Afrotonic House. Isn't it that nigga that's gonna move each other with um, Casper in your vest? Nah, that's nah, not music. Yeah, yeah, that's not music. Ah, I'm gonna get my first time, you know. I suck at house music, people, man. Shit. Number two, the goodie. Yeah. I, I, I feel like, yeah, the goodie, yeah. Yeah. He. Mm. He deserves it. They're still the same. Okay, number one. Yeah. Yeah, that list. Yeah. But when I number one, two, sharp. Yeah. Oh, one. Mm. And then, can you make more this thing? Can you make better since they would lose Dimo? Comes every boy to lose Dimo. Mm. And then the last king will fuck themselves. <laughs> dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That's, I don't know them, bro. Mm. I don't know them, dog. Yeah, but. They, 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 they. Did that song yeah OD and I earned him that cause now he, he like he was traveling a lot around the free state and yeah. doing a lot of movement and mm. shit dog. Spanish our house was even later, man. Mm. It's into it too, dog. Hey man, this was for people now. I wait to keep on the guy, dog. Okay, uh last one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm shooting a fuck the guys. I'm sorry, though. I don't work on our order. Nah, talk me. Yeah, I'm shooting a shit lot of music videos. Um, mm. I, 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 I might be dropping a project. Um, it, it's actually a, 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 a an EP. Yeah, yeah, Chris Far Beats. But now we're spending on the songs that I've been working on, and then dropping two songs there. Hopes. Oh, and he's from he's from Durban. Yeah, and then. 10th June again I'm dropping a project haven't decided on the name yet mm. but I'm done with the songs I, and like I just have to choose from the thousand songs that I have mm. like from like a thing that that, that that I can put on there because now Wallaby is here and she's growing up mm. so now I need to just find a name I want and Mafia Code might be coming together, hooking up uh, Oriana Trap album again. Because Kenizu Swinta Spanali in Nali, you know what? Yeah, Roto Drop, Roto Drop Club. I'm gonna know what the shit is this song. Fuck. Interrelate, yeah, we're gonna drop Interrelate for, for the tour we're going. We have a freestyle tour thing we're gonna do. Mm. Starting with Fix Break it up, if I feel. You know what? And then. Kuse <laughs> Kuse. Yeah, that's 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 gonna be my main focus though. And um, my artist, not forget my artist, man, I take a spanel born. I have to drop a few projects uh artists are gonna be mm. well, um, Yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing though. And shit, fucking up TV though. Mm. Breaking stages and shit. Oh, yeah. Getting more endorsements. Getting more endorsements. Well, that's what that's what's up. That's what's up. These people gotta know. And just just stay in my lane doing me, dog. Not giving a fuck who, 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 who does what, dog. No one does. That's what I've been doing. No one. Yeah. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of me and music. Yeah. And music. Growing up. <laughs> raising my daughter. And making a shit lot of money, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I need money for days. Oh shit. And this this initiative I'm starting starting from next week or some shit. Um every Thursday we're gonna have street beat ciphers. Mm. Or one day at Super Mario say the dollar. Or one for the colored community and shit so that we start a movement that's gonna bring the neighboring herds or one and all the artists together. But it was a joy. In the name of your pop dog, but one, yeah, there's no race actually, race boundaries and mm. shit. Can rap in your Afrikaans, so we cross the aim, 
I'm just, I'm just trying to unite the hip hop movement. My boy. Yeah, he did that little mm. and teach them a thing so that they can learn actually from a thing or two from other artists that are not outside. Yeah, bro. That's basically what I'm doing. And getting a lot of tattoos. <laughs> Shots full. I see. Also, of smoke. Baby, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. That was the beginning of the busy studio sessions, season 3, episode 3. Oh, wait. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I gotta say shout out. I gotta send a shout out to my uh, to my sponsors. Shout K2S, bro. Um, shout K2S, where? Uh, shout Nell Spook Marty. Um, House of Smoke, shout XTG, Akalabona, uh, Motif Media. I see you guys. What was it, man? Forget, forgetting. Oh, MUD Entertainment. Yeah. Shouts to the bosses, man, for hooking our nigga up with this platform and trusting me with all this. Shouts to that, bro. You already know what time it is. Let's fuck shit up so shit can be fucked up. Yeah, that's what's up. NIR Media, the future of entertainment.